But yeah, just like I was saying, the little guidance you require from somebody to tell you, go start looking at this area, goes a long way to put you on the platform, on a ladder to make you so, so, so good at what you are able to achieve on iron platform. And because of that, this group of people have taken the time to put together this book camp to introduce people to what they should know, to what they should see first, if they really want to start becoming somebody like Philip, somebody like Nana, somebody like April. Well, I'm not there yet. I'm still following these people. So um, I wouldn't say I would I wouldn't put myself in that class, but I want you to focus, look at people like Coffee, look at people like Philip, look at people like Nana and what they've been able to do in the period of time that they've been in I am. If you're here right now and you're thinking, okay, how would I be able to do it? I want to let you know that it is possible. It is completely possible. If you're in the chat box, just give me a two in the chat box. If you believe that it's really possible that you would be able to achieve more than enough from this platform. Thank you guys. And I want you to believe it, that it is really possible. I never thought that a time will come, people will look up to me and say, oh, Francis, you're good at what you do. I came to this platform with zero understanding, zero background of Forex trading. I was literally scared of graphs, right? But then it got to a point, I, I, I said to myself, if certain people have been able to do it, then I'm going to take my time. Whichever time that I need to watch the lessons, the videos, the educational videos on this platform, I was going to take my time and do it. I remember when I started, I gave myself a straight three months. Guys, some of you come in and then already you're looking to jump onto live account. Three months I was trading demo. Three months, all I was doing was watching videos. The only live account that I first had was what Philip and April asked me to do because we started a harmonic boot camp, um, a harmonic um, compounding group and that was my first live account and guess what guys it is still my first live account that very account so um i will take this opportunity to once again thank philip and april for doing that because uh um, it put me out there and he gave me that confidence it made me believe in myself it made me believe in what this platform can offer Okay, with all this blabbing, I'll just start sharing my screen to everybody and then um, we can actually do some lesson. But then guys, I want you to believe that what we're doing here is possible. I usually don't do presentations, but today I am going to show a little bit, a little bit, very little piece of um, a book that I'm putting together for myself and anybody who is interested in trading the strategy that I do. Eventually, the book should be ready. This is just a little piece of it that I'm bringing out today. It's not for everybody. So, guys, don't, don't, don't be asking me, when is this book going to be Francis, when can we have it? Yeah, it's just for me for now. Just for me for now. Okay, so. In the meantime... Before I go on to explain anything on this video, I want you to understand that the information provided in this video is purely for educational purposes only and should not be taken as an investment advice. Purely, how people come, can we please meet ourselves, please? Let's please meet ourselves. Let's not distract other people. Anymore. The information provided in this video or the information provided on this session is purely for educational purposes, only for you to go and try and backtest it and be sure of what you want to do with it. 
it took me some time to realize that wherever I see from the iron platform, Francis need to put in the time to actually investigate, to make sure to come to conclusion exactly what he needs to do with the information. Many of us on this call do not even pay attention to this. If you go and go live, usually you see the educators put this up. But how many of us in the chat box, how many of us has ever taken into consideration this? Give me a one in the chat box if you have. Ever sat down to think about it? When they say the information provided in this session is purely for educational purpose, how many of us in the chat box, let me know, taking it into consideration? Well, guys, for the fact that we are doing basic training on this, I'm going to explain exactly why they tell you it's basically purely for educational purpose. They do so by telling you to make you understand that what you are watching, what you are listening to, is up to you to go and back test. It's up to you to go and sit down, rewatch it, come up with your own conclusion. Is this working? Or is this not working? It is for you to decide. The educator is not going to decide for you. Francis is not going to decide for you. April is not going to decide for you. Neither theirs. For you, the particular person watching this video or watching this session, is up to you to actually go and practice exactly what you've seen in the session and draw a conclusion to the fact that, okay, yes, I want to be able to practice this because I tested it and it worked out. And again, should not be taken as an investment advice. As after you have tried it and perfected what you really want to do with it, that is when you can think and decide, now is the time for me to do so. I remember when I was trying to get onto a um, live account, every time that I asked my, my mentor, Nana, when do I get on live account? I remember Nana was saying, Francis, when you feel ready, start it. And I didn't understand it. I was always thinking, okay, so Nana, um, why are you telling me when, I, when I'm ready, I can, I can go ahead and do it? Well, you, you're seeing what I'm doing. You're seeing my results on demo. I think you can give me a go ahead. But he says, no. When the instinct in you tells you that, yes, you're going to go into this live chat and be able to make yourself profitable, that is the time that you can take this as an investment advice and the advice is coming directly from you and nobody else. I repeat it, the advice is coming from you and nobody else. I remember all the time Kofi says on the video and he says, if you take somebody's trading idea, you might, you might win one or two. What if the person get one trading idea wrong. You get to lose one. How about you taking your own trading idea? You get to lose probably another two. But then the person you're taking the idea from is probably losing just one. At the end of the day, both of you are not the same. And that is exactly what it means by you should not take this as an investment advice. The advice should come directly from you. It should be an instinct directly from you. And once again, I want to I want to let you know that trading involves high level risk. In as much as technically we are able to come up with technical analysis and plan where we are going to enter, how much we are going to um, risk, how much we are going to afford to make out of out of, out of, the, out of this market, you need to understand that there is risk involved. Are you willing to take that risk? Are you willing to put that risk on? And this comes exactly when mentally you're ready. I know so many of us on this call probably doubting yourself. Am I really ready to take on this challenge? I don't know whom I'm speaking to right now on the call, but then if you know yourself, you know it. And I'm not going to point out. How many times have you doubted yourself? Am I really built for trading? Guys, you know what? Everybody is capable of doing every single thing, except when you have allowed yourself to accept the fact that you can do it. Does somebody hear that? Give me a three in the chat box if you hear that.
except when you allow yourself to believe you're capable of doing it. Thank you very much, guys. And the last thing that I'm going to talk about is trading. Trade with discretionary fund. Never trade with money you cannot afford to lose. If you come to me and you complain about how much you've lost in trading, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to ask you first. Can you afford the amount of money you have lost? If the answer is no, then I'm going to first ask you, are you a trader or are you a gambler? Guys, this is a basic video. So I am actually going to explain to you the difference between a trader, who is a trader, and who is a gambler. The moment you go against this third rule, trade with discretionary fund and never trade with money you can afford to lose. Guys, the moment you go against this rule, you are a gambler. You're not a mirror trader. And that's the difference between a trader and a gambler. There is somebody out there who will go and bet 300 pounds on probably a football game. And guys, if you're trading with an amount of money that you know for you for a fact that you cannot afford to lose, you are the same as that particular person. If it goes against you, you lose it all. And emotionally, you're a wreck. When I tell you why you're canceling your subscription, you cannot explain to me because you did not follow your own rules. If you're on this call right now, I want you to do me a favor. Take a screenshot of this page right now. Possibly, if possible, post this in front of your computer, your laptop, whatever it is. Post it in front, wherever you can see every single time you're going to trade. If you have just done that, give me a five in the chat box and let's go. If you have just done that, give me a five in the chat box and let's go. Oh, my, my reception is pretty bad. Let me try and see if I can get it sorted out. So, um, the next thing that we're going to talk about Today, we're going to talk about harmonic strategy. I'm going to add a little bit of some hey, twist on it. Yeah, hello, April. Yeah, keep talking. I think we can hear you now. Am, am I breaking? Not anymore. Oh, okay, let's go then. So we're going to be talking about harmonic strategy trading. The goods and bads on this uh, strategy, I'm going to be explaining all of it some specific things about harmonics that I've, I've, I've been able to identify on my own, I'm going to share on this um, presentation to make you aware. Go and try it and come back and tell me why have you kept this for so long, Francis, and I'll explain to you. Okay, so our objective on this call is you should be able to know what a harmonic pattern is. I know April did a Zoom call on Sunday and then uh, we went directly straight onto um, the I am harmonic um, page and then we saw some harmonic patterns. We did talk about some few harmonic patterns, but then the question is, what is really harmonic patterns, right? What is really harmonic patterns? And then the next thing is, you should be able to know how many harmonic patterns that I personally trade. The reason why I personally trade those patterns and nothing else. You should also be able to know where to enter a trade from a harmonic pattern using divergence, the D entry and an institutional confirmation. This is where so many people go wrong because they don't understand the institutional power of trading. And also you should be able to know where to take profit and where to reduce your risk and when to reduce your risk is very, very key. Somebody told me, well, I was going to say somebody, but Nana said something to me. If you're in a trade, Francis, it don't really matter. But what results you come out with that trade is what really matters. 
Did somebody hear that? Oh, somebody is struggling to hear. Let me just try and see if I can get this done. Guys, give me a sec. Give me a one in the chat box if you can hear me, please. If you can hear me, give me a one, please. I've switched my internet around, so I don't know if this is going to be better. Better. Let's go. Let's go. All right. So um, you should be able, I'm going to go on from number four, you should be able to know where to take profit and when to reduce risk. And I was talking about when Nana said, um, the results you come out of a trade determines who you are. Some people can be in profit for four hours and still come out of the trade with a minus. If it's ever happened to you, give me a five in the chat box. And I'm going to tell you why. The only reason why you can be in profit for five hours and still come out with a loss is because you do not know how to manage your own trade. I'm not going to talk about your personal character. <laughs> But why on earth would you be in a trade for four hours and be in profit and finish the day with a minus? That takes a lot about you. It used to happen to me quite a lot. And then it got to a point I said to myself, Francis, this is not happening anymore. If my trade triggers and I am in profit, I am going to make sure Hook or crook, I finish that trade either at break even or in profit. The only time I'm going to lose a trade is when my trades do not come in profit at all and go straight into my stop loss. Does somebody want me to repeat that? The only time I am going to lose a trade is when my trade goes straight through my entry and straight through my stop loss. If my trades do come into profit, even if it is 50p profit, I am going to make sure that I protect that 50p. It's a hard lesson and you're going to ask me, Francis, how do you do that? And I'm going to show you that. This is why this is a training. By the time we finish this, you should be able to understand. You should be able to move from the level that you are to another level that you can say to yourself, after this book camp, I have actually changed my trading style. And the last one, we're going to be talking about how to draw a cipher harmonic pattern. For those of you in the Harmony Book Group, some of you are able to draw the cipher patterns and all that. But today I'll be talking about setting little twist about it right now. What kind of patterns and where in the market these patterns are formed, that is going to be 100% bang on. I haven't even shared this with anybody else. It's, it's personal to me. But for the sake of this training, I am going to release it. If you are happy, can you put some fire in the chat box? Go, let's go. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Thank you all. Thank you all. Thank you all very much. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is to explain what a harmonic pattern is. So a harmonic price patterns are those that takes geometric 
price patterns to the next level by utilizing Fibonacci numbers to de define precise turning points. So if we talk about how many patterns, we talk about Fibonacci. I know there are people that talk about Fibonacci strategy, Fibonacci strategy, but Fibonacci strategy without a concise or a precise turning point, it's completely useless. If you draw your FIB and price is turning or reversing at 61.8 or 32.8, whatever it is, my question to you is, do you know why price is reversing at that point? The good thing about harmonic trading is that harmonic trading gives you those precise areas and we can predict. Unlike other common trading methods, harmonic trading attempts to predict the future movement. So at least we are able, if you are able to trade harmonics, you are able to know somehow how the future is going to turn out. I remember in the group chat in the Harmony Book Group, I said to people, Bitcoin was going to 17K last week. I think it was last week, Thursday or Friday. And I gave a time, a time period that this is going to happen. I said between the weekend and by the end of this week, it didn't even get to the end of the week. It's already past 17K. And the only reason why I could afford to see where price was going next on her, on Bitcoin was because of harmonic patterns. Now the question comes, does smart money or the banks respect harmonic patterns? Once we get on the chart, I can prove to you what they really do with the market. If they do respect it or not, we're going to see. So how many price patterns are precise? I'm going to talk about the problems associated with it. Every good thing has got a bad thing to it. That is the reason why when you trade harmonic patterns, you're not always 100% going to get everything right. How many price patterns are precise requiring the pattern to show movement of particular magnitude in order for the unfolding of the pattern to provide an accurate reversal point? What if this does not happen? A trader may often see a pattern that looks like a harmonic pattern, but the Fibonacci levels will not align in the pattern that's rendering the pattern unreliable in terms of harmonic approach. So there are some times we, we want to trade harmonics. You pull your fib, you measure the moves, and you realize, oh, this harmonic pattern is unreliable because um, I don't get the accurate fib um, patterns. I don't get the accurate fib um, numbers that I need for this pattern to be a godly, for this pattern to be a bat. But then you realize that, okay, after two hours, price just reversed up the area you're looking at. Had it been a harmonic pattern? So if you trade harmonics, you are likely to miss out on certain moves in the market just because you are not getting the pattern that you really want. And to avoid this, I'm gonna give you the solution to this. To avoid this, you should be able to know at least six different harmonic patterns. And I am is so good. I don't know what to say about I am, but then I am is so brilliant that it offers every single one of these patterns I'm talking about. We're so lucky to have this platform. If you are able to understand all the six patterns, guys, you're done. You should be able to see most of the things that are happening in the market. And it, 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 will, begin to, it will begin to sound to you like a movie. Like It's like you're watching a movie and every, every time you leave the, t the TV, you go back to your bed and then it feels like you're still watching the movie again, deja vu, something like that. This can be an advantage as it requires the trader to be patient and wait for ideal setups. How many of us in this chat box can say to ourselves that we're really patient about what we trade? We're really comfortable in waiting for our setup to really hit the areas that it has to before we enter the trade. Sometimes I put I put trade ideas in the group chat and then um, 
people will ask me, Francis, can we enter now? Then I say to you, what is your reason for entering? <laughs> I wasn't, but I had to learn the hard way. Thank you, Kara. Eventually, everybody here on this call is going to learn it. It's not a curse, but if you're not patient, trust me, trading will teach you how to be patient. It will teach you how to be patient. It's not a curse. I'm repeating that. But then eventually, you're going to realize that your attitude, your behavior, your character you brought in, impatient is eventually vanishing. One more thing, the danger occurs when a trader takes a position in a reversal area and the pattern fails. If you're in the chat box, in the chat box, if, if you have ever been in a harmonic pattern trade that has failed and you forgot to put your stop loss, give me a seven in the chat box. You took a harmonic trade, it failed you, and you went back to check your MetaTrader 4 and you realize you had not put stop loss. Give me a seven in the chat box. Well, I'm gonna put it because it's happened to me several times. <laughs> it's still a learning curve. The reason why I'm putting my seven is because I don't want you to see me as a God. I, I do have faults. Of course, I, I've tried as much as I can to, to reduce the risk, but then it's always a time that you get too comfortable because almost every trade that you're placing is hitting TP. So, okay, now nah, I don't have to pull a stop loss. Let me just leave it to right. And it goes terribly wrong. Then you begin to contemplate, do I have to close the trade or just leave the trade to right because it's going to come down? Guys, I just want you to know if a harmonic pattern fails, it has failed. Your only solution is having a stop loss. Simple as that. Your only solution is having a stop loss. Okay, so the types of harmonic patterns that I particularly trade, my favorite pattern is a cipher pattern. For those that really know Francis, you can see that every time I draw, I draw harmonic patterns, most of the time, 85% of the time, it is a cipher pattern. Nana always tells me, Francis, um, you have a pattern that has got something in, in, in Ghanaian language, they say atabai. That is what the cipher is all about. My eyes are almost drawn to that pattern in the market. 90%. And guess what? My actual result from cipher patterns is 96% wins. So if you're in this call, and if I tell you about what cipher patterns can do in a Forex market, I know exactly what I'm talking about. I have my ratios. So if I tell you this is my favorite pattern, I'm telling you because I know that that is what gives me the money. 96% times I trade cipher pattern and I get TPs. Minimum TP1. The next pattern is Gatley. I have the bat, the butterfly, the crop, the deep crop, and then the alternate bat. I don't expect you on the call right now to know all these patterns. But today there is one thing that we're going to do is to talk about harmonic cipher pattern. I want you to be able to see it, be able to trade it and be able to win monies from it. If you're not able to identify it, I am Academy is so brilliant that we have the harmonic scanner. It gives this out for you. It gives it, it gives it out for free. I want you to take a challenge after this call from next week, pick a demo account 
and go on the harmonic scanner every single day. Look for the cipher patterns and trade it blindly. Come back and tell me your results. I'm saying this because I know exactly what I'm talking about. Trade it blindly. Don't put scanner source. Don't put anything on. Don't look for any confirmation. Just wait for price to hit the D entry. Sell, buy. That's it. And after a month, come back and tell me what your results is. All right, won't keep you so long. Let's get going. This picture right here, I love so much. I love this picture so, so much. Because with or without a harmonic pattern, I can trade these pictures right here on graphs and be able to make money out of it. How many of us in the chat box have, have seen this picture before? Give me a one in the chat box, please. And how many of us can confidently say they know how to use this picture? Oh, T, you've never seen it. If you can confidently say you know how to use this picture, give me a two. Oh, D, are you have an either? Diana, wow. Okay. So if you look on top of this picture, it says divergence cheat code. If I talk about divergence in the Forex market, it's always in the shape around this, these shapes you can see here. What this means is that you have price in blue and you have your indicator, whether RSI or AO or MACD, whatever, whatever you use to identify your divergence in red. So price is going up, indicator is coming down. Price is going down, indicator is going up. Divergence. I don't know if you've ever come across this on your chart, but then whenever you see this thing on your chart is very, very key and is very, very important information is giving you right there. Is a clue. And if you are able to understand these clues, then you would be able to make yourself profitable, even when you're not trading harmonics. So for those of you on this call that do not trade harmonics, but are able to mark up your charts, you can use this as an extra confirmation to actually make some big monies. And once we go on the chat, I'm gonna show you some pictures of what this thing's actually doing in the market. Don't be so wild when you see it working so marvelously because they do work. I can assure you that. All right. So let's see what we've got next before we go straight to the charts. Okay, we are we are on the last page for this presentation. But guys, I want I want to I want to congratulate everybody for going through the first few pages of my book that I'm coming up with. Uh, eventually, you hear you hear more about this book. I don't want you taking taking this information out anywhere because um, yeah, I'm trying I'm trying to keep it for myself for now. But once it's ready, definitely. My family is going to know about it and we're going to share ideas together. I'm asking so many questions. I'm reading so many Forex books. I'm reading so many um, Forex journals to try and put um, the powerful information together to help us trade harmonics with smart money, with confidence. I want to get to the point that when I tell you traders enter here, buy here, sell there, I can give you a minimum 90% trade um, win. That is my goal. I don't know about you in the call, but if you really want to have a 90% goal like me in the next six months, give me a five in the chat box. And guys, 
Let's do this together. Let's jump on the charts. I hope everybody can hear me fine. I've just switched pages, so um, I want to make sure people can hear me. At least one person give me a yes and this. Yes, we can go. Oh, yes, I got my yes. Thank you very much. So I, I'm going to show you a presentation as to why the cipher pattern works really, really powerful. And before I do that, I want to open a space, a five minute space for questions before I go on. If you've got any question, five minutes, feel free to unmute yourself, ask the question before I go ahead. Five minutes, because I don't, I don't want people forgetting their notes or their question they're writing in their notes. So feel free if you have any question, five minutes. Anybody? Okay, so it can harmonics be drawn also on a line chart? Definitely on a line chart, yes, you should be able to draw harmonics. But then it takes um, specific skills in order to be able to do it. With time, if you've been using the um, candlesticks for a while, you should be able to see how many patterns treat with a line chart. And it becomes even easier. It becomes so, so easier once, once that happens. How do you use divergence? Or is that another call? Okay, how do I use divergence? I'm gonna show it in conjunction with um, um, the cipher how many pattern and show you exactly how I use divergence to trade. So um, be patient in that, be patient in that. Okay, so if there are no more questions, guys, I'm gonna take you straight to some of the things that I do. What I wanna see before I trade a harmony pattern. So usually as we all know, our markets likes to move Can somebody in the chat box, before I do that, can somebody in the chat box tell me the three ways market move? The three ways that market moves. I'm doing this just because I want us to, I want us to be on the same terms. I want to know how people are feeling in the chat box. Thank you. Up, down and sideways. And I want you to, I want, I want to ask you one question guys in the chat box as well. Do you know that for most part of the Forex market, we are ranging, we are moving sideways. How many of us know that? For most part of the Forex market, we are ranging, we're not trending. Only one person. And if you're on this call, one thing to put on your notes, the most conducive Forex direction that harmonic patterns are very reliable is a ranging Forex market. Put it in your notes. Don't forget this. This is the first time I'm sharing this. So guys, <laughs> take it and wrap it well. The, 
the most conducive time to trade harmonics is when the forex is ranging, the forex market is ranging. For most of you on the call, you were told that when market is consolidating, you shouldn't trade. If you're one of them, give me a two in the chat box. If that is what you got told, that when market is ranging, don't trade it. All right. Today, I'm going to give you a secret. Yes, consolidation. When they tell you market is consolidating, don't trade it. Leave it. Wait for the breakout. And I'm going to tell you that the best time to actually win more trades using harmonics is when the market is actually consolidating. And I'm going to show you some few examples on the chat before this call finishes. I know my time, my time is fast spent. But guys, once you're able to do this, you should be able to trade a ranging market with confidence and win most of your trades. So this is what happens when cipher patterns are going to be formed. Usually you see the market going up, down, up, down, up. And then in a period of time when the market is so volatile, I'm talking about the London session. I'm talking about the New York session on JPY, AUD, NZD pairs. I'm talking about the Asian session. You see price just do a big move. Whoop. And at this point in time, this is the move that everybody is chasing. So this is consolidating, right? And in this area, you're being told, do not trade. So in the morning at half eight, half seven, this is when everybody is telling you, oh, let's go and catch the pips. Of course, the move is good. But then you realize that price just do this big move and then all of a sudden it retraces back. Then again, Probably in the afternoon, in the New York session, volatility comes back and then price just do this again. And because we have this staircase right here, one, two, three, somebody is already planning to draw a trend line like that. If you're one of them, give me a free in the chat box. We see a staircase and we're planning to draw a trend line straight away to see what we can get. Then the next bounce up to the trend line, we want to make some money. If you're one of them, give me, a, give me a three in the chat box. We want to see price come back here. Then we can sell it. Ah, lol, I don't admit. <laughs> Philip, I see you. You see, so price would just go up like that. Price will just go up like that. You expecting it to hit the trend line and just drop, and then all of a sudden you see this move. This move right here breaks this trend line, breaks this market structure right there, and then you see price do this again. I don't know how many of you can relate. But this is how harmonic pattern starts. It starts from consolidation. It takes advantage of the volatility and the retracement in the market to form the legs. So for me, as Francis, when I'm seeing the consolidation, I'm already thinking in my head, this is an X. Are we following guys? If I see the consolidation, I am thinking in my head, this is an X. If I get the opportunity to trade this area, why, how would I trade it? Once I break out of this consolidation, I'm gonna wait for a retracement. I'm gonna show you one trade, guys. Whenever you see a consolidation, just pull your fib from the top to the bottom, mark the 50%, of the retracement. I'm showing you a trick right here. Mark the 50% of the retracement 
immediately you break out of the consolidation, wait for price to come back to the 50%. Wherever price drops like that, if price is going to do a continuation at the 50%, you should be able to see an imbalance or an institutional candlestick. If you're on this call and you don't know an imbalance or institutional candlestick, don't worry. I am going to fill you in on tomorrow's session on institutional trading. Today, let us focus 50% of the range. Just put a line there. If price is going to follow where it broke out from, price will definitely break out. Go back to the 50% and continue the journey. I want you to backtest this, guys. 50% of the range, wait for the breakout, price come back to the 50% and then it will continue the range. It continued the trend. And this is a key area for you to enter a trade. One of the, one of the strategies I use in trading my X leg. Today, I'm giving you all the gist. Immediately, I see price stalling. That is when I begin to think, this is my A. Always the A is the length between the X and where price finishes. Can white cup accumulation or distribution be considered as a sideways movement? Of course, there is a sideways movement but then in a very, very, very synchronizing way. So if you're, if you're really smart, most of the time in your white of accumulations and distribution, you should be able to see so many harmonic patterns playing. So, so many harmonic patterns playing. And that's the reason why I trade smart money with harmonics. Because by the time you are waiting for Utah to trade, I had already traded six or five harmonic patterns to TP2. And that's the good thing about what I'm teaching you here, guys. So from your X to the A, the retracement we need from X to A for a cipher pattern is between 38.2, if you take your notes, please do so. 38.2 and 61.8. Let's put some notes. So if you pull your fib from X, fib X to A should be equal to 38.2 and then 61.8. This is the range that you need. The moment you see this range, I want you to label this area as a B for your harmonic pattern. I don't know if people are asking so many questions in the chat box, but guys, I want to focus on teaching it for people to follow the sequence because it's really, really important to follow the sequence. That looks confusing. Where are you confused? And then I'll go back and show you again. In the chat box, where are you confused? Not sure how I would read the fib. Okay, my fib, my fibs are quite, my fib settings are quite different. So if you are here on this call and your fibs, your fib Minachi 2 looks different and you want to have a fib Minachi 2 that looks like mine, feel free to take a screenshot of my fib 2 right now. Feel free to take a screenshot of my fib tool. I'm going to give you the settings. 
these are my settings with specific colors and the colors are, are specific because I use them for different reasons. And with time, getting to know Francis, you understand why they are those colors. If you have taken the screenshot, then I'm gonna move ahead. Oh, you've never used one before. No problem. Message me privately and then um, we can we can talk about this. Okay, so this is what happens, guys. Once you have identified your B leg and you see price retraces past the A leg, all I want you to do again is put another fib from the A back to the X. It looks confusing. But all I'm doing is follow my words. Once price move past A, I want you to pull your fib from A back to X. And I want you to put a green box between 1.272 and 1.414. And that becomes your C. So let's put some notes there. Fib A to X equals to 1.272 and 1.414. Let's put actually equals C to make people understand properly. No, this is equal to B. So now we have been able to identify X we have been able to identify A, we have been able to identify B. We know what C is. This is where you are able to trade from C to D. Guys, this is where you are able to trade from C to D. Now let's take off the Fibonacci tools. Let's take off this. Assuming price is in here, and I want to be able to decide to buy from C to the D, I am going to put a line here, and I'm gonna use a different color. And then on my RSI, on my RSI, let's assume this area is an RSI. If I see my RSI giving me this shape from the A to the C, like that. So the price of A to C is coming down. The price on the RSI from A to C is going up. I am gonna put a buy straight away in this area. Is somebody following? So some of you have been asking so many questions. Oh, Francis, so how do I trade from the C to the D? This is how you do it. You have been able to identify X. You've been able to identify A. You've been able to identify B and C. What else do you need? Okay, let's repeat. If the price area, I am gonna put a line, what time frame? Every single time frame, including one minute time frame, Andre. And I'll prove to you that one minute time frame even works. So I'm going to put a line from the A to the C. 
on my RSI, I'm going to put up my RSI indicator. So from where A to C lines up, let's put a line there like that. Put a line on your chart to the RSI. If here I see price coming down and here I see price going up, this is what we call divergence. And based on this divergence, I am going to put my buy entry here. And my stop loss is going to be the FIP that I pulled from A to X. My stop loss is going to be at the 61.8, 1 1.618. That will be my stop loss. So this is how your trade is going to look like. Your entry there. Your stop loss here. And your TP, you're going to pull a FIB from X all the way to C. So now let's put some notes. FIB X to C is equal to 78.6. Equals D. So if I pull my fit from X to C, I'm going to put a line at the 78.6 here. And that is where my TP is going to be. If you are able to enter this trade, Already, without knowing the harmonic pattern completion, you are guaranteed a 4% account increase, guys. How does this sound? For the fact that you were able to identify X, A, B, C, including divergence, you are already almost guaranteed a trade that could give you a one to four. Some of you guys do see some of my screenshots of how my trades pull out and then I'll just call it, um, it's another day but the same stuff, sniper entry peel. Some of my sniper entries is just based on Harmonic cipher part in entry at D. That's it. With divergence. And now we could put this line up to the D leg. And that is our harmonic part in completed. So now we have a cipher part in. And guess what? You are able to trade from X to A. You are able to trade from C to D. And you are also able to trade from D to your TP1 and TP2. What strategy can give you this? Accept harmonic patterns. I remember there was a trade uh, um, um, April, April took on GBP card, and I'm going to show you that trade where April called that trade and how April traded the trade. April took that trade all the way from the C leg all the way to the D, and then we sold from the D. I marked out the D area. We sold from the D all the way to TP2. Yes, April is out there. <laughs> this is what Harmonic Patterns gives you guys. If you're on the call right now and you were a bit confused as to how I pulled the fibs, 
let me know in the chat box and I can go over it quickly before we go on the actual chat. I know my time, my time, my time is far spent, but I'm still going to try and show you some bits on the chat before we go. Can you go over one quickly? Okay. So guys, once you have a, you are able to identify the consolidation area, all I want you to do is pull your FIB from X, well, number one, pull your FIB. I have the notes right there on the left-hand side, this area. Pull your FIB from X to A. And then you want the retracement that happens, this retracement, to be between 38.2 and then 61.8. If you have price finishing off in this range, that gives you your B leg. Is that bit clear? Again, once you see Price from B leg go past the A leg. Once you see price from the B leg go past the A leg, I want you to pull your fib from A all the way back to X. And here, once again, fib A to X is equal to 1.272 and 1.414. So I asked you put a green box from 1.272 to 1.414. If price fall within this range, that becomes your C leg. Is this, is this bit clear also? How do you know what the numbers are equal to? I will only know when price fall into this green box. And this is why I explained to you at the start that you are supposed to be patient in order to win. If price do not get into the green box that you are marked between 1.272 and 1.414, you are not getting ready to trade any pattern, I'm sorry. It is not your trade. Okay, so another question. And if it go past, as soon as it go past this box, green box, and a candlestick closes outside the green box, it is invalid. Leave this trade alone. Even if you see divergence, leave this trade alone, I repeat. As soon as price go past the green box marked range between 1.272 and 1.414 and a body closes, leave this trade. Do not buy from C to D. Is the bit I've explained so far making sense, guys? Thank you. So now you have identified X, you have identified A, you have identified B, and you have identified C. I want you to clear your charts completely of any FIB. And now I want you to pull your FIB from S to C. So you take another Fibonacci tool from the X to the C and place a line at the 78.6, and that will be your D entry. So now I am gonna take the cipher part into right there on my trading view and start from the X to the A, to the B, to the C and to the D. Does this look like a harmonic pattern, guys?
So this is how you are able to create your own harmonic pattern. Trade it and get the maximum pips out of it. Okay, so somebody's asking to repeat this bit. In order to place a cipher tool, we have a cipher pattern tool on trading view. So just select it and start from the X. Pull it all the way to the A and to the B and to the C and to the D. Then this becomes your harmonic cipher pattern. Okay, so Felix is asking, how often does the price respect harmonic patterns? Price will respect the harmonic pattern based on how you trade it. It's as simple as that. Does the same FIB levels hold when you have the pattern inverted? Exactly. When the pattern is the other way around, is the same FIB patterns. FIB levels is the same. It don't change. So this becomes your bearish cipher pattern. Inverted way is gonna be your bullish cipher pattern. That's just the difference. So on that note, I wanna go on the chart and show you one bearish cipher pattern. Does the D leg have a maximum extension? No, when it comes to cipher pattern, your D leg is always a single line. 78.6. On other patterns, it can be two or three, but on Cypher, it's only one. All right, let me show you one trick, um, Kara. That's a good question you asked. A good question you asked. Let me show you one trick before we go. Okay, so if I pull my fit from B to C, and the extension level 1.272 lines up with my 78.6. Assuming my extension level 1.272 lined up with the 78.6. Guys, I am going to take this trade probably, probably take it with, with the surety I am going to hit my TP. And this is what for everybody on this call that do watch Money Canonis will tell you this is what we call commonality. Commonality. So one more time. Once you get two or three fib levels pulled from different areas, lining up at the same area, it becomes commonality. So Phil, I pulled a fit from B to C. And I said, if my extension level 1.272 lines up with the D, that trade, I am going to take that trade with a surety that I'm going to hit my TP. On that note, we go straight to the chat and then I show you an example of what I'm talking about. If everything is clear here, I want everybody to give me a one in the chat box, then we can move on. Fabulous. So I'm gonna show um, April's GBP card. This was April's GBP card. April saw the trade when it was around this area. It was lining up around, it was lurking around the C area here. And she bought it all the way up there. And I decided to sell the trade all the way from the C to my TP1. The beauty of trading harmonics. 
this is a harmonic back pattern and that's not what we're talking about today so i'm just gonna i just wanted to show you what april did with harmonic pattern and tell you exactly how it works if you look on my chat look i told you in ranging conditions this is when this pattern plays out a lot this was one pattern right here actually this this area is another one You, uh, you remember this trade. This area is another one. I can see them with my eyes just like that. But guys, it would take time for you to develop that eye. So don't be surprised if Francis is just pulling, pulling fibs everywhere and marking up harmonic patterns. Look at that. Price just went up one trade. One trade moved how many pips? 340 pips. Another one moved how many pips? 357 pips. Another trade moved how many? 356. And it's a ranging market, guys. It's a ranging market. And this trade, the sell did 128 pips. One pair we're talking about. Can you show us the ranging, please? Okay, this is the ranging. Price is just moving sideways. We're not trending. Look at this movement. Look at this movement, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. We're not trending. Of course, it looks like it's going up. Now we're in a trend. If you look in this area, now we're in a trend. And that's the reason why I have my channel. This morning, I traded this cipher pattern. And that's what we're going to talk about. So here, you've drawn the patterns within the range area. Yes, I have. This morning, I saw this cipher pattern, and that's what I want us to talk about. Let's delete this and start all over again. So with what I said, I saw this range right here. What time is this? Can somebody tell me the time that the price broke out? Thank you, New York session. So this area is my X. Now, from your notes, we're gonna pull fit from X to where price reversed. And we're gonna mark out 38.2 and 61.8. If price fall within this range, then we'll be thinking about cipher. Does price fall within the range, guys? Good. That makes this place my A, and that makes this place my B. Now, the next thing we're going to be doing is pull the fib from A. We've done X to A, so now we're doing from A to X. And we're gonna put a box at 1.272 to 1.414. Does price again fall within the range? So now this becomes our C. Now what do we do? We pull price from X all the way to C. Oh, somebody's wild, huh? Don't be wild yet. <laughs> and now we're gonna put our line at the 78.6, 78.6. For those that are not seeing it properly, I wanna zoom in. I don't want anybody to tell me, leave me, Francis, you're creating the number. Look at this, 78.6 right there. And I've put the line right on top of it. 
Now I'm going to take my cipher part in two and put it on top of it. X to A, A to B, B to C, and C to D. Now let's look on the left side and see what happened. So from our D, price moved 36 pips. And we're talking about five minutes time frame, guys. Have I been able to prove to you that this cipher pattern is something mad? Of course, body of candles closed above D. And that is the reason why our stop loss is always above the X for a cipher pattern. So your entry is at the D. Price hits your D, you are already in the trade. And the next thing you're waiting for is for price to drop. That's all. That's all. And if I should put my TP areas on, your TP areas is going to be from C. If you pull a fit from C to the D, TP1 will be the 38.2 there. So on this chart, we actually hit TP1 straight. TP2 is 61.8. So from your D to TP1 would have been 17 pips. TP2 would have been 28 pips on five minutes charts, guys. Does this sound like something that can make you profitable? How do you manage your trade? So once I'm in a harmonic pattern trade, immediately I broke this market structure right here. Immediately I broke this market structure right here. I would be looking to take partials. And I'm going to show you one significant thing that happened. You see a retracement happened here and price came back down. This wicks right here tells me that price wanted to go up. And the reason is we did not close below this area. Look, if I put a line here. We did not close below these candles. And that tells me that price wanted to reverse. So this area, I'd already be looking at taking partials. Okay, do you set limit orders? That is a good question. When I am not on my screen and I'm asleep, of course, is a limit order. But when I am on my screen, I'm going to wait, put a trend line like that, wait for the trend line to break, clear break of trend line, and this is where I enter. Does that answer your question, Rebecca? Good. How do you manage? When do you move Excel to break even? I think I've answered that. I tend to choke my trades. Oh yeah. You have to understand once you have, you have entered the trade and you are in profit, wait for the market move, understand market structure movement. If you go on three minutes time frame, let's see something here. Look at where price reversed. We broke market structure, price went up, came back into what? Institutional candlestick and boom, went up. And guess where it reversed? Institutional candlestick. This is why Francis trades smart money with harmonics. Even though I'm in a harmonics trade, but I am waiting for the brace in order to know when to buy, I can be in a harmonic cell 
but then I can be at the same time in a buy trade. Nana always say this about me. He's like, you Francis, I don't understand you. You want to buy everything. You want to buy and sell everything. I can be in two trades on the same pair at the same time. And all of them in profit. Some of you on this call might be struggling to understand how I'm doing this. But tomorrow, once I start treating harmonics with smart money together, you're going to, you're going to be filled up with some of the ideas, what an institutional candlestick is and what I do. Don't be, don't be married to one bias. If I'm selling, I am selling. Don't do that. If you're selling and you see a break of market structure, guys, and it's a clear break of market structure, once price respects an institutional candlestick, change your bias and buy it. The only way you would be able to do that is going with a smaller risk. And that is where smart money comes in. I was in a sell in that trade. Price came down. I saw the break of market structure. I bought from here. My TP was there. Why? Because I broke market structure there. You see how price is working in staircase. From here to there. Here to there. Here to there. And look where we went next. Here to there. In staircase. What is the best time frame to look for break on market structure? If you're trading on five minutes time frame, I want you to go down one, one time frame lower, which is a three minutes time frame. If you're trading on one hour, I want you to go one or two time frames lower, the 45 or the 30 minutes. Immediately you see those breaks. Don't don't change. Don't make your 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 winning trade become a losing one. After doing all this hard work and you end up hitting a stop loss. Wow. I think you should, you should be laughing at yourself for, for allowing yourself to do all this hard work. Of course, it's not as hard as going for a, I'm a 96 or a 95 job, but you know what? after stressing yourself and pulling all the fips and all that, and then you hit stop loss, mate, come on, that's not nice. I don't know about you, but then I feel gutted when that happens. Right? Every single minute, every single time frame, you can find a pattern to trade. I'm gonna show you some more. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I have, I have one in your USD, a cipher pattern. And I'm currently in that trade. Look at cipher pattern right there, guys. Look at that. Consolidation. Look at the time that we broke out of the consolidation. What time? Can somebody tell me? And look, we broke out X. Actually, let me let me take a clear, let me take a clear page and, and mark it up. Somebody might be thinking, oh Francis, you've got all these things lined up and you're just you just spilling tea in our eyes. Let's look at this area. This is my consolidation. I'm gonna label this area as X. Now I'm gonna pull my fib from there to there. And 
and I'm going to mark out 60 in this area. Can somebody tell me if we're within the zone? Do I have people still on the call? This is not really up to the level that I'm looking for. So now I'm going to readjust my pattern. So that becomes my A. That becomes my C. Now let me show you the trick about divergence right here before we go. I was in a buy on this trade. So I, I wanna show you why I was in a buy. Oh no. Sorry guys. Can we all see the divergence, guys? That is the reason why I got this buy right here all the way to the C. I'm showing exactly the stuff that I do. Now I pull the fit from there to here. And then my cipher two, X to A, A to B, B to C, C to D. If you are in the harmony book group right now, I put this trade, I think yesterday or two days ago. I put it there and then I ask people to go and check their entries on Monday. I, I put it there. So if you're there, you know what I'm talking about. And you know this trade is currently swimming in profit. This is why I called Euro USD sell. So with divergence, would you enter as soon as it enters the C leg. Yes, as soon as it enters the C leg, I am going to enter and put my stop loss just below it at the six um 1.618 level. So if I put my fib like that, this is how I trade at this area. Not here, sorry guys, I'm coming. So if I mark out the green box like that. Immediately, I saw price entered here. This is my entry right there. And this is my stop loss right there. And my TP is up here. So I caught Euro USD. 1 to 2.8. From the C leg all the way to the D leg. And now, currently, I'm in a cell from the D leg and I'm waiting for my TPs. How does this feel guys? 
I said to you, if you're not on the chart, all you do is place a trend line, wait for the break of the trend line, assuming you don't want to risk wasting your time in D. Place a trend line, wait for the break of the trend line. Once you get the break, sell it. If you waited to sell the break, that alone could have given you already probably 70 pips, 70 pips and you're still in profit. I see smart money on C leg. Of course, there is smart money on C leg. Look at that. Price broke up, went back, came back to fill in balance right there. We'll talk about this tomorrow. Another entry right there that could have given you even a better risk to reward. And straight away, price went up. Was there anybody on this call that did not believe in harmonics and smart money? Let me know. Be honest. Be honest with yourself. You didn't believe in it. But then after this call, you are starting to see things clearer. Be honest. Let me know your reaction in the chat box. Who would you recommend to watch Smart Money? My favorite Smart Money trader by far is Rock Kuma. For a beginner, a beginner, I would say go and watch Sandy Casper. So let me put the names on the chat. Um, for a beginner, Watch Sunday. That's correct. And uh, for advance, watch Rokuma. These are these are my guys. And for harmonics, watch Ray Robinson. And this guy, this guy will solve your problems on harmonics just like that. Ray Robinson will solve your problem on harmonics just like that. He does it effortlessly. On this note, I don't know if I really want to show people about um, the, the bullish ones, how the bullish ones happen. I don't know if I really want to show people how bullish ciphers occur. Do anybody want to have a um, have a look as in see a bullish cipher pattern? Anybody? Yes. Okay, let's look at this one. Yes, let's look at this one. Price consolidating all in this area. Now I'm going to pull my feet from there to here. So on the bullish one, you're going to start from the bottom to the up. On the bearish one, you start from the up to the down. So guys, take notes of it. I'm going to remove it. Because it's a bullish one, price is starting from the down and doing price walking to the up. I'm going to start from the bottom to the up, like that. And then I'm going to mark 38.2, 61.8. I'm going to take another fib and I'm going to pull it all the way back to the X area. I don't get it. So I'm going to move this. I'm going to reshuffle it to there. I'm going to reshuffle this to here. Sometimes 
you will not get it. Do not force the trade. If you don't get it, do not force the trade. Let me remove everything and start again. So I'm going to pull my fit from there to there. In that case, this becomes my X. This becomes my A. And this becomes my B. That's my B fall within the range, 32.8, 61.8. Does my B fall within the range? If yes, then we're going to pull another fit from A to X. And we're going to mark 1.272 to 1.414 and label it C. Do we fall within the range? Yes. So now what do we do? We clear all our FIPS. I'm just following the instructions I gave you. Then I'm going to pull my fit from X all the way to C. And my entry is going to be at a 78.6. Okay, so now we can put our cipher pattern on X to A to B to C and to D. Somebody will be asking, Francis, why did price go all the way down there before it retraced? Now, I want you to pull your RSI and see something that happened. See what happened. As price was about to reverse here. Can we see the divergence? See how price was moving sideways on here. Price was coming down here. Can we see the divergence? Right? Around this area, I wasn't seeing the divergence, but once price began dropping lower, I started seeing the divergence. And look at that. Price moved up, break structure, came all the way back to the institutional candlestick. That is my entry right there. And we did. I haven't marked out already because I, I was in that trade. I managed to catch 240 pips out of that trade. And again, I'm showing you another entry. We broke market structure. Hey, again, price came back into institutional candlestick. We went up again. And that was another entry. 132 pips. Now we have seen a bearish move and a bullish move. I want to go back now and ask the question, how do you feel about harmonic trading now? Do you trade specific pairs? Honestly, Francis trades every single pair. I don't care where I see it, everywhere I go. Even on gold, I go. <laughs> Even on gold. And I want to show you one harmony pattern that played out on gold. This was a harmony bat pattern that played out on gold right here. Actually, it was Gatley. And I was in this trade. X to A, A to B, no. X to A, A to B, B to C, C to D. And look at that. And when everybody was crying about this gold, I was just right here catching this trade. Nana, I was on the call with Nana and I think, um, I guess that, I don't know if I guess that is still on the call. Do you remember this trade? She's not. This is how I got that trade. And guess what? It was simple divergence. Let me show you how I got that trade. 
price was going up, RSI was coming down. All I did was I drew a trend line, wait for the break of the trend line. Immediately I broke past this key number. I did a sell and that was it. And that was it. Right there. All the way there. 900 pips in less than, in less than three hours. So for those wondering how we use divergence, price was going up, RSI was coming down. All I did was I drew my trend line. It broke the trend line, that's it, I was in. Oh, don't be done with me, please. Guys, it's a strategy. What I've shown you in this lesson today if you go back and watch these videos over and over and over again and master just what we've shown in this video, guys, I can promise you it should change your trading strategy straight away. Your trading, your trading should change. You should see a huge improvement straight away. Is it all right to check divergence or MACD or OR? Perfect. You can do that. I prefer using the RSI. So all the time I've got my RSI, that's all I need. That's the only indicator that I use. Yes, we anticipate price to fill the gap and eventually it's going to happen. I am waiting. I'm already in this buy and it's still playing up. I entered this buy off institutional candles. It was, I think five minutes entry. It's still playing up right there. I entered the trade there. I think I'm risking currently. I'm risking um, 15 pips or five pips, something like that. Are you recording? Yes, I am recording. So you can get the video back. Yeah. But eventually I won't go to go back and then fill all this gap. And it's going to do that. Gold is just a bit manipulative and it's going to play about, but eventually it's going to do that. If you are a long-term investor, all I'll say to you is just place a 1.0, a 0. a 0 0.01 trade with a probably a 200 pounds account and just leave it in. You'll be surprised when gold come back and hit this area. I trade harmonics on every single pay. If you look on my charts, that's all you see. This is a cipher pattern right there, guys. Another cipher. And I'm not I'm not just showing you it because it's, it's the thing that plays out every single time. I want to show you one more on GBP Chef. I think um I think um executive trade or pro trade called this trade this morning and I was already in that trade from last week, GBP Chef. And look at that, divergence again, price coming down, RSI going up. And that was when I entered the trade. That's all I do, harmonic pattern. I send this one to the group. It hit TP1, just like that. I think Pro Trade called this trade as well when it was around this area and I wasn't already in that trade. My RSI settings is just normal settings. I've done nothing to it. It's just the normal one, the 14. It's just normal. Go on the forest indicators. F, I think it's this one. Yeah. FX. And then type in RSI. RSI. That's it. And you can select it. Is it this one? Yeah. Now it's this one. Relative strength index. That one. That's all you need. That's all you need. And you'd be shocked how many times these things are just playing up. 
Look at that again, divergence. There to there. And look, there to there. Divergence. Break of market structure. Price came back down. And if you pull your fib, it's not magic when price hit the 61.8 level. It's not magic when price hit the 61.8 level. After the RSI showing divergence, wait for the break of market structure, pull your fib, and I can guarantee you 61.8 level price will reverse. So people pulling fibs and telling you that, oh, I got I got this trade and it was so smooth. It's it's not it's smooth, but then you don't understand how you've done it. Right? Please, how do you set your fib to appear only lines? Um, if you go down here. I think you need to untick that box and yeah, think that box as well. Just take a screenshot of the settings and that's it. You should be fine. All right, guys, on that note, I'll leave room for a few questions and then we bring the, the session to an end. Feel free to unmute yourself. If you don't have any more questions, then I think I've done my time for tonight. I've done way past my time. Sorry. Sorry, guys. Hey Francis. Yes, sir. Yeah, how are you? Uh, just a quick question. Can you just quickly run through the first thing that you do when you when you wake up and look at look at, look on trading view? Do you look at do you look at a one hour time frame, a daily time frame? Okay, so um, let me take a clear chat and see what I can do. Thank you. Yeah. If I wake up in the morning, assuming I've done nothing at all, I've done no markup at all on my chart. All I do is um, I look at the daily time frame first. Actually, I look at the weekly time frame. And my focus is just the first candle I see, this one. That's all I see. That's all I need. Then I'm going to go, is it bearish or bullish? It is bearish, right? I'm going to look at the candle next to it. Was it bullish or bearish? If it was bullish, I'm going to put a line at the close. If it was bearish, I'm going to put a line at the close. In this case, this one. Right? So if I do this line. So all I'm going to do next is go on the daily and see where those lines are lining up. If price is above this line, I'm only going to be looking for bullish price. I'm go only going to be buying. And in this case, if price is below this line, I'm only going to be selling. That's all I do. If I have done no marking on the chart at all, so in this case, price is currently below the line. Have you realized that price came back to retest the line on the back before it did the selling? Guys, let me finish right here. I think I'm dropping too much stuff. <laughs> we talk about this later. We talk about this later, the uh, So guys, trust me, trading is fun once you begin to see the in, ins and outs of it. I'm not there yet, but trust me, 
it's always fun whenever I get in here. Yes, I still get lost with institutions. Don't worry, Kara, you get there. You get there, trust me, eventually. Tomorrow we talk about this one, guys. Because of our time, I'm going to wrap up today. And tomorrow, I'm definitely going to touch on, if I wake up in the morning, what do I look at first? I'm going to explain all of that. And if I forget, please remind me. Yes, the call is at the same time tomorrow. Please make time to jump on. All right, so we finish up today. Thank you all for jumping on the call. I don't know if Phil is still on the call. I will, I will leave it back to you, Philip. And then um, we'll finish. We'll finish for today. Yes, Francis. Thank you, sir. I feel like I'll, I'll leave it to April. April, you there? Yes, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Francis, that was amazing. Everybody, I know you're blowing up the chat box already, but blow it up one more time for Francis. Share on your social medias. Like if you've taken a screenshot, tag him in it. So many of you and well, all of us have been on a campaign for Francis to become an IM educator. He has only been in the business for what a year now. And within six months, he was he was already on his way to becoming what, is, what we say is like a master trader, like a star boy. But I understand, Francis, you're still a student of the academy. You're still learning, but we appreciate you so much. You know, what you do on the charts, you really opened up a lot of people's eyes. You've opened up my eyes a whole lot. Like the value that you give your eyes. I've said this before, you and Nana are the two people, if I was back at uni, I would need you on my group, group work project. <laughs> <laughs> When it comes to research, that was where I lacked. I could write, but when it comes to research, you guys just blow me away. Your dedication is just next to none. Um, same time tomorrow, guys, 7 p.m. Francis will be rounding up with harmonics and smart money. And then after that, I'm gonna do a roundup of the week. But thank you so much for everyone who's joined and got nuggets. That's what we wanted to do. We wanted to inspire. I'm going to drop some key videos into the Traders Vision Group and I guess in, in um, Kingdom Builders as well. So how to use, um, someone said Madassi, Francis. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> um, I'm going to drop a video on how to use Trading View if you're new and you've never used trading view before i can understand that this might be like oh my gosh what is this but um i'll drop a video on how to use trading view i'm also going to um um direct you i can tell you there's a video by manny quinones on divergence he done one recently as well it's saved in his favorites um but if you, even if you know you can't find it just jump on youtube quick video, what is divergence, and, and just apply that to your charts. There is also a video on um, Ralph Dankwa's favorites. So Ralph Dankwa is a, a, a go-live beginner's educator, and he has a video on Fibonacci, the Fibonacci tool, and how to use it. So for those of you who don't know where to pull your Fibonacci from, it took me over a year to do it. Um, Ralph Dankwa has a video on um, in his favorites on how to use Fibonacci and then everything that Francis is saying would definitely, you know, make so much more sense because you're like, oh, okay, I know how to use my Fib. This is where I pull it from, from my X to my A to the, um, A to the C to the B to the B. Yeah. <laughs> but um, thank you so much, Francis. Good night, everyone. Um, yeah. Thank you. Did you want to say anything, Philip? You're welcome, you're welcome, you're welcome. Uh, Francis, your host, so I think you'll have to close the chat when you're ready. Have a good night, y'all.
think you're the host now, April. Thanks, Brad.